I want to try something a little bit different this week. Usually my routine is to start on a project um, early in the week and get a video recorded, uh, get the video edited, get the website article written, and then get all the social media stuff in line. Uh, but for this week, I want to try something a little bit different. I want to work on three different projects, and I want to start and finish them in one day. Uh, so a lot for a lot of you, this may seem impossible just because of the, th the amount of things that are, you know, are going on. Uh, but I wanted to see if I could do this. And so I picked three projects that I thought maybe I could do in one day from start to finish. So those projects are ingrain coasters, um, a slimline pin, and then also a wooden doormat. So I start out with a project that is probably going to take me the longest, uh, which also has a couple of glue ups involved. So I know there is some waiting time there. Now I'm not doing this just to see if I can complete three projects and that's it. But I also want to practice my number one time management, uh, but also my thinking process. I want to try to use my time wisely in the shop, especially if I'm working on a few different projects at once. So I want to try to train myself to think, you know, what's coming up next. You know, I need to get all of these things in line to be able to go on to the next part in a project if I've got a glue up coming up. So for in this instance, uh, in just, just a few minutes ago, you saw me gluing up what is going to be some ingrain coasters. Now that is drying at the moment while I'm working on something else. And so that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. And I, I just think this is a really good exercise, not only for uh, working in the shop, but also planning out what you want to do um, coming into the week or as you're getting done with a project you're thinking about what can I be doing next so you may not necessarily be working on something physically uh, you know multiple things at once but you may have a lot of things going on mentally uh, that you need to get done and I still think the same principles apply I know my narrative here is a little bit different than the normal video but if you are interested in seeing or learning how to make each one of these things that I'm making today, the ingrain coasters, the wooden doormat, or the pen, I've got a website article. There's a link down in the description of this video that you can follow and read that article and I go in, into step by step how to create these three things. Um, so if you're interested in that, check out the article. But if you're interested uh, in this experiment that I'm doing, I'd love to hear how you uh, deal with working on multiple projects. You know, how do you deal with uh, mishaps or m missing deadlines? You know, how do you compensate for those things? Uh, so just curious. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, I'm all about trying to improve shop efficiency. Uh, and speaking of, one of the things that I've done lately is start wearing a vest, a shop vest, while I work it's just it has become part of my routine Atlas 46 makes the vest that I'm wearing they happen to be the supporter of this video so I want to say thanks to Atlas for supporting what I do but they're a really cool company they've got a lot of different uh, line of clothing workwear applications a lot of job site accessories um, so they really do have a lot to choose from they even make kids stuff uh, like the vest that I'm wearing my kids have the same vest um, that I have so it's kind of cool when we're all in here together so if you're interested in Atlas 46 check out the link in the description also I have a video that I made on the same exact vest that I'm wearing um, did a video on that and you can find that link and more links to Atlas in the website article so I want to encourage you to check them out so now that I'm getting more towards the end of the the projects like I'm gonna start working on this pen because I have uh, put the ingrain coasters in their final glue up stage and so now that's drying while I'm working on the pen the doormat is complete and so that's done and so now I can try to you know have fun with this pen and just uh, really just take time to let the glue dry on the ingrain coasters so I'm kind of if you will, I'm kind of unwinding, I guess you can say, um, 
lay working on the lathe to me is kind of like just therapy um just something about it so anybody that doesn't turn may not understand but a lot of you guys that turn know exactly what i'm talking about so this kind of project works well towards the end of the project uh for me anyway or toward the end of the day uh, because it just fits so now that that the the coasters are all dry i can start working on that uh, again the pin at this point is complete and so now i'm just wrapping up the, the end of the day and really I've, I've learned a lot in this process or this experiment because i've learned to number one i've learned to um i'm not saying that i've mastered it but i have learned that i need to manage my time a little better and the different things that I'm working on, like glue ups or whatever I'm doing at the assembly table, you know, why not have everything there that I need to complete that particular task that I'm doing instead of running around the shop? And that's one thing that the vest has done for me. Uh, I have a lot of the different things that I need right there on me, on my vest. And so um, that's why it's become part of my routine in the shop. So getting down to the end of this day, I'm putting the pen together and I'm going to be done. So um, it really has been a good exercise for me to do this. I really want to encourage you guys to do it. Um, if you guys take me up on this, uh, tweet me, get on Facebook, send me a message, leave me a comment down in this video and let me know that you're going to do this for yourself. And I want to hear about it and see how well you do and the things that you learn. But also I want to tell you to, if you don't, don't mind please subscribing to my channel um, so you don't miss any future videos and check out the link in the description uh, for the website article uh, be sure to sign up for my newsletter and check out all the other articles that I've got over there I've got some great plans uh, as well so check those out and as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time see ya